Hello, welcome to my pick a card video. So for me, I really enjoy doing a pick a card on the new moon. And today is the Leo new moon in August. Now, the reason I like to use the new moon to do pick a cards is because new moons are all about setting intentions. There's a bit of clearing out just like you would your garden, you have to clear out to make sure that you can plant, but eventually you set the seeds in place of what you want to see bloom over the next month, if we go moon to moon, or the next six months, if we go from this new moon to the next Leo full moon, um, or we could do an entire year if we go from this Leo new moon to the next Leo new moon. Now, the fantastic thing about these videos is you can use this at any point in time. So if you felt called to watch this video and it is no longer the Leo new moon, not a problem. This pick a card will still work for you. So here's what we're gonna do. I am going to do three mini readings. You are going to decide whether you want to listen to reading one, reading two, or reading three. You could also listen to all three of them and uh, pick out what resonates for you and leave the rest behind. Now, um, I'd like to give you a moment to do that. What we're going to do is I'm going to pick a card from my Smith Rider Waite Centennial deck and then my Antiquities of Magic Oracle deck and the two combined will be the reading. Okay, so let's take a deep breath. Let's feel grounded and centered. Pick a number one, two, or three. Let's do some readings. Group one. Now, this is good information for anyone. The Leo, Leo the sign is ruled by the tarot card that is in association with it is strength. Now, strength is also in the Smith right away, the eighth card of the deck. And that is the year we're in. Um, we're in a number eight year. And so it is very much a year of finding your own inner strength and honoring it and trusting as you move forward. So group one. Group one, we have the Ace of Cups. Now the Ace of Cups is all about being aware of the sparks of intuition that are coming your way. So you're going to have little bits of information popping up from time to time um, over this moon, over this next cycle, whatever you're watching this for. Um, so take some time to trust these intuitive hits as they come your way. Know that they're coming. And as they come, they're going to be alerting you. Our second card here is Coffin. So they're going to be alerting you to things that are no longer serving you. Things that you should be putting away to rest. So sometimes we have things that are hanging us up and we don't know what they are, but we can feel that. We can feel something's not right anymore. And so this new moon is the perfect time for you to pay attention to those hits as they come your way and go, you're right, this is no longer for me. And put that to the side. Go ahead, <coughs> excuse me, go ahead, let it go. Oh, <coughs> well, that feels like a message. Yeah, so as you feel these intuitive emotional hits as you're going through it all, there are going to be things that are said, you need to pay attention to me, you need to pay attention to me. And when that thing comes up, Pay attention to if you're needing to pay attention to it because it's something you need to move forward with or it's something that you are no longer needing. And it's important just to sit for a quick second and go, you know what, that's not right for me. Um, a lot of us can feel that in our gut. Sometimes it's not our gut, but it's just a nudging and a knowing. And sometimes it does take a little bit to ride that wave and decide yes or no. But if you're getting these intuitive hits, really sit with them and decide um, what's for you and what's not. It's time to put some things aside. Okay, group two. Group 
group two, your message is, we have the star. Now the star is all about finding that guiding light, the thing that is the guidance for you to move forward with. So you are searching for the thing that will help you move through a darker period in time. If you're feeling confused and like you don't know which direction to go, it's time to find your guiding light, your star to follow. Now we have globe. So the globe is all about knowing that there are so many opportunities open to you. You're feeling the desire to venture out on something new, but there's this fear that you're not going to go in the right direction. So by at least picking that end destination, that going to, even if it's not a full place that you know you want to be, but it's a feeling, a desire. If on this Leo new moon, you're like, you know what? I really desire to find that luxurious way of living. And I want to know what that feels like for me. And I think that to do that, this is going to be an adventure. This is going to be something that I'm going to have to explore and really figure out what's right for me. So that luxury, that feeling of being luxurious is your star. That's what you're aiming for. And you're taking your time to really explore and see what that right thing is. So don't rush the process. Just trust that you can find the balance between an emotional desire and groundedness and do that while aiming in a direction and trusting the process along the way. Go out, explore, try new things, and you'll be able to find the right path that'll lead you in the direction you want to go. That was group two. And group three, let's see what your message is. Now for group three, your first card is the sun. So we have a desire to show up and that feels so fitting for Leo. Um, Leo is often considered the person who is the performer, the person who wants to be on stage, the person who wants to be seen and adored and appreciated for the things that they bring up. And so the sun showing up and then we have a wreath. To be able to really feel like you're showing up and showing up in your power and showing up your brightest, most inner child, funnest way. To really do that, find the things that help you feel like you're celebrating something. Wreaths are put on doors in times of celebration. They're put on spaces when you want to bring together this feeling of a circle, this feeling of power, this feeling of connection, um, knowing that we're all connected, but with beauty. And so really if you're trying to show up in a new way if you're setting the intention this leo new moon to be like i'm going to be in my power i'm going to shine bright i'm going to let my inner child out i want to soak up this leo energy do so in a way that you're adorning your spaces with things that make you think of love and joy and celebration the more you find the celebration in the spaces around you by intentionally putting it there the more you can show up into that energy. So this moon, as you set the seeds for showing up and being big and bold and authentic, right? Really letting the sun shine on you, spruce up your spaces and really adorn yourself and the space around you in those colors, in those things, in those ornaments that make you feel really special and bright and shiny so the more you do that the more you'll feel that desire of creeping up of excitement so every time you see it it'll remind you of showing up and being present so that is your leon new moon pick a card 
I hope that this message resonated with you, that you were able to find what you needed here. If that wasn't the case, feel free to swing by and check out another video. I do a daily tarot poll called Tarot and Coffee for a little advice every day. Um, I do these pick a cards and um, I do personal readings if you book one with me. So come on back, subscribe. I do this on the regular. I'm so glad you're here. Good luck. Bye for now.